Hi, Paul here from Trek It. We've come up to our favourite woodland spot again just to talk you through uh, some ways to reduce condensation in your tent. Uh, Murphy's with us, he might not stay around for the whole video, but here he is anyway. Um, so, condensation, tents, it is, uh, it's a common problem. Uh, and it's a problem that's, that, that can be reduced, but never really avoided. It's, it's, it's a very tricky one, particularly as we live in a temperate country. So condensation generally will form on the inside of your fly sheet when you're sleeping in the tent. And that's because when you're sleeping, you're exhaling warm, moist air. And generally, in our temperate climate, the air on the outside is colder. So where the two meet, which is at the fly sheet, the water that you're breathing out condenses, forms condensation on the inside of the tent. Now that is just physics, you, you can't get away from that uh, it, and it is a problem but you can take some steps to avoid it um, and so we'll go through some of those in a minute but just to give you some idea that is about how much water you'll exhale through one night just through breathing out that's about a litre of water and that's got to go somewhere and it will form condensation on the inside of the tent if there's a big temperature difference between the two. Okay, so we'll talk through some of the tips. Okay, so some tips to avoid condensation in the tent. First thing to consider is where you pitch the tent. As you can see here, we've got some vents opened with these little stiffeners, which uh, open up onto the mesh of the inner tent. So think about the wind direction when you're pitching the tent. Today, it's a, it's a really still day, so it kind of doesn't matter. But what you want to do is try and get airflow through the tent. So pitch the tent so the air is blowing in this direction up into your vents. Uh, and with modern tents, you can normally just you know, spin around, get the, get the pitch position just perfect so you can get that airflow through the tent. So make sure these are open, any vents you've got. Obviously, if it's absolutely blowing a hoolie and it's lashing down with horizontal rain, then you're gonna have to close these down to avoid getting a bit of moisture in the tent. But generally, try and keep these open. You can even guide these open to make them more secure. This is the MSR Hubber tent. Uh, and it's got a really nice feature. So when you unzip this door, you've got a bug mesh on the inside. So again, to reduce the condensation, you can simply roll the door back and just have the mesh door here, just to stop bugs and insects getting into the tent whilst you're sleeping. But that will allow, again, plenty of air coming through. Again, if it's raining, if it's tipping down with rain, you need some protection. What you can do is you can zip the door up, but perhaps just leave a little bit open at the top. And because you've got this rain gutter here, the rain's unlikely to come through. You might get a little bit dripping through, but it's not going to be a huge amount. But just to try and keep that air moving through the tent. Okay, another tip just to reduce the condensation in here is you don't want a heat source in here. You don't want to build up the warmth inside the tent. So keep the doors open. If you've got to cook in the tent, because it's raining heavily, uh, or you just want to cook in the tent, try and keep the stove towards the front of the door so any excess heat can escape out of the door here. You can stay dry inside. And obviously for a safety feature as well, you don't want a, a hot stove really close, enclosed within the tent. Okay, so when you're thinking about pitching your tent, uh, there are some certain little tips and tricks that help you to avoid that buildup of condensation. Like we talked about earlier, keep the vents and the doors open where you can. Pitch it so the, in the wind direction so the air's flowing through those vents. But try pitching away from sort of still water sources and from rivers and things because that's obviously going to increase the humidity in that area. Try avoiding uh, hollows where uh, air can sink and cause that um, a condensation problem again. But if you do have to pitch by water, obviously a big problem there is going to be mosquitoes and bugs. So we'd always recommend taking some uh, good old life venture mosquito repellent with you on your trip just to make sure that uh, you're not getting eaten alive particularly by midges in Scotland. Okay, so if you've been out in the mountain all day and you've been, it's been raining heavily, tipping down with rain, you've got a lot of wet gear, uh, try and avoid storing it within the tent. Obviously, as that starts to dry out, it's releasing moisture into the tent and that's gonna create a lot of condensation. Uh, so if you can, pop it into a dry sack, separate it out, pop it outside the tent. The little Xbed dry bags are excellent for that. You get a variety of sizes. They take up no room in your pack and you can just use that to store things outside of the tent. Uh, and then obviously if you've been, if you've gone on a multi-day trip and you're going, moving from trip to trip to day to day um, uh, and your tent gets soaking wet, um, just try and dry it out as much as you can in the morning before you move on, just to avoid pitching an already wet tent. 
because again that moisture has got to go somewhere as it dries off and if the inner is wet if the ground sheets are wet if the whole tent is wet it's gonna uh, increase that level of condensation okay so just to summarize uh, think about pitching think about wind direction think about venting think about uh, if it's dried like a condition today do you need the fly sheet can you pitch it just the inner first you really just try to increase the airflow through the tent to move that warm moist air out and replace it with drier air to equalize that uh, difference in the humidity between the inner and the outer of the tent that's it for how to help to reduce condensation in the tent uh, if you've got any tips or suggestions of your own please add them to the comments at the bottom of the video and uh, feel free to uh, peruse our range of tents on our website we've got a wide range to suit all needs and occasions uh, this is Paul saying cheerio see you next time